G'day there folks, just been putting a bit of chicken on the barbecue for tea tonight and uh, wanted to tell you about this week's video. It all goes back to something I read recently in the Bible, it was just a single line but it really stopped me dead in my tracks and I've been unable to think of anything else since. It's simply a single line and it said this, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains a single seed. Well, the uh, chicken is underway, it's cooking away on the barbecue, so I've got a few moments to start off today. Uh, a grain of wheat, can you imagine that? Just uh, hold out your hand and imagine one single seed in the palm of your hand. It would be uh, uh, just, a, just a tiny thing, and yet in that, in that one small seed, the, the potential of that seed is enormous. It has almost unlimited potential. Just one seed can become a multitude of seeds and so on almost forever. It can keep multiplying and multiplying. But it all starts with one single seed. And in that single seed is all the potential, all the life, everything that's needed to become abundant and to become successful in life. So it's kind of like you and I. Um, you and I are totally unique. Um, our DNA is unique. Um, no, two, no two of us have it, the exact same fingerprints. Um, we, are, we are totally unique. Nobody's got your unique set of giftings and your personality and your appearance. Nobody is like you. There's only one of you and we are we are born like a single seed in that seed which is us is all the potential for greatness all the potential that we need to achieve absolutely anything in life that we set out to achieve it's all there within us but what happens if that single seed is never put into the ground never covered over with soil, but simply remains a single seed. Well, it's pretty obvious that all that potential is lost and it remains just a single seed. But if the grain of wheat is put into the ground and it's covered over and it's watered and nurtured, miracles begin to happen. Let me show you what I mean. I never get tired of watching a clip like that. It just um, amazes me, the, the miracle of a single seed planted. You know, the greatest teacher that ever lived, the carpenter of Nazareth by the name of Jesus, um, he said something like this. He said, if you want to be great, then you've got to learn to become a servant. He said, if you want to be thought of as the most important person in the room, then you've got to learn to become the least important. He said, if you want to find your life, really find your life, then you've got to give it away. He said, if you 
if you want to receive lots of money then you've got to learn to give kind of counterintuitive isn't it but that was the wisdom of Jesus in the Bible concerning a single seed you know if we if we do not plant our seeds if we do not um, discover the potential within us and begin to live our life for a greater cause beyond ourselves we're going to remain a single seed we might still do quite well in life and to all those around us we would appear relatively happy and I guess successful in, in many ways but we ourselves know inside that there's something missing there's an emptiness there's a longing there's a desire for something more to live a greater life for a greater purpose and if we never discover that we might finish up just like this guy have a look I am weak and I am a failure there's just no getting around it relatively soon I will die maybe in 20 years maybe tomorrow it doesn't matter once I am dead and everyone who knew me dies too it will be as though I never even existed what difference has my life made to anyone none that I can think of Folks, I guess this journey begins with us asking some really big questions, really important questions to get a handle on for, for everybody, all of us. Questions like, um, why am I here on planet Earth? What is my purpose? What is my role for being here? Um, what, am I, what am I afraid of? What's stopping me from stepping out and reaching my full potential you know if we can work these things out miracles will begin to happen and 2022 could be just the year when you begin to ask some questions and you begin to put some plans into place to live your life greater than just your own four walls and when you do that miracles will truly happen thanks for watching today and being with us if you like this video please click uh, like and subscribe down below and make a comment we always like to hear comments and hear what people are thinking and hear, hear some feedback on what we're talking about but uh, until next time um, keep looking up keep living in the now and i'll see you in the next video god bless